Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about five Python project ideas for beginners. Now I'm not going to give super specific stuff here but I want to give you guys some kind of inspiration and just make you aware of some of the stuff you can do with Python because as a beginner you probably don't know about the extensive modules Python has as well as some of the really interesting stuff that can be really useful to you uh, and actually make apps that you know you can use in your everyday life. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now before I tell you about the first Python project, I just want to say that it's really important that you are working on projects. And it doesn't matter what they are, how small or how large, but that you are applying your knowledge by yourself without kind of following along with tutorial videos or having someone walk you through it. Now tutorial videos are great and they teach you a ton, but to really apply your knowledge and make sure you understand everything, you need to be working by yourself every once in a while on a project and that's why I'm trying to give you guys some ideas here. So project number one that I recommend you guys work on as a beginner is some kind of login system. Now this can be really basic and just something that's in your little Python console where you ask the person for a username and password or to create an account. So if they don't have an account, they can make one. You ask them for an email, username, two passwords, confirm those passwords are correct, and then store that information in some kind of text file or database. If you're a real beginner, I'd recommend just using a text file, and then you can allow the user to log in as well. So maybe you have a page that says like, would you like to create an account or log in? Based on what they type, they have those options, and then it's gonna save that information and validate every time they log in against the text file. Now the next project that I recommend you guys work on is some kind of card game. Now these ones can be a bit more advanced depending on what game you pick, but two card games that I usually like to recommend are Blackjack or Rummy. Now you might not know what Rummy is, but if you look it up you'll kind of see how that works and you can obviously make modifications to it based on whatever you like. But I actually use Blackjack in my programming course, which you can find down below right now for 35% off as the final project. So it suits really nicely here as a beginner project to work on. Now project three that I like to work on is something with Excel spreadsheets. Now this is less of a very specific project, but just making you guys aware that there actually is a module with Python that allows you to read and write to Excel spreadsheets. Now this is super easy to learn. I picked it up myself in about 15, 20 minutes. And using this, you can create some really cool applications. And one of the ones that I made with it is something that tracks my expenses. So super basic, but essentially you just type into the um, command prompt what the expense was, how much it cost, and whatever day it was on. And then it will add that to an Excel spreadsheet and start keeping track for you. And this is super easy to do um, and just a great beginner project. It's also something nice to do, you know, if you're worried about saving money or all of that. Now with this Excel sheet, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff and the more advanced you are, obviously the more crazy stuff you can do with this module, but it's something I definitely recommend learning as it'll open up a ton of project ideas for you guys. And I'll leave a link to that module in the description and the pinned comment. All right, so the next project that I recommend you guys work on is something for some of you graphics people out there. And this is the turtle module. Now again, less of a specific project, but just a module in Python that's really nice to use and super easy to pick up. I actually have some tutorials on it on my channel, but essentially it allows you to just have a really basic kind of graphics that you can use in Python so you can visualize stuff, you can draw nice pictures, and something I've actually done with it is create what's called a turtle race. Now the turtle race that I had, there's just a bunch of turtles lined up at the bottom of the screen. When you hit go or you hit space, they all start going up the screen and then it keeps track of which one won in a text file for scores. So that's an idea of a project I've done with it. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. And again, I have tutorials on my channel if you'd like to check those out. Now the last project I recommend as a beginner, um, and this one's more specific, is tic-tac-toe. Now this one seems pretty straightforward and pretty easy, but there's actually a lot of things to think about with this project. You have to keep track of not only the player's moves, but the computer's moves as well, if you're gonna play against a computer, which is an option, or you could play against another person. You have to make sure that the person hasn't won yet, or you have to check all those different lines, which means you gotta work with lists, um, and that can be kind of challenging if you're a beginner, and that's why I recommend it. As well, you have to make sure you're getting valid input for where the person's putting either an X or an O, and then if you're playing against a computer, you have to make sure that that computer's making either random moves or logical moves, which means you have to have a little bit of an algorithm on picking those moves. Now, I'm making the sound a little bit harder than it is, but I do have some tutorials on my channel. Um, I'd recommend you guys try the project yourself first and then go look at those for some help. 
But again, um, feel free to check those out. I'll leave a card right now. All right, so with that being said, this has been a short video. Hopefully I gave you guys a few really simple ideas for some projects to work on with Python. Again, if you can't think of anything, I really recommend that you learn that Excel module as well as the turtle module because they open up a whole list of possibilities for things that you can do and you can create some really useful applications. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like to help me out and subscribe to the channel down below. And I guess I will see you guys in another video.